Wrestling Show is three dimensions away from Madam Web being a box office hit. I'm your host, 3D Jake, and today we're looking at Madam Web, released in 2024. Madam Web is the latest installment of the Sony Cinematic Universe to feel like to where we're just like, oh god, can it please end? Because they don't have Spider Man right now because Spider Man's off in the MCU. So, of course, we're dealing with this shit stained pile of movies called Madam Web now. We had Morbius, now it's more than time to now Madam Web, where let's see if this blind woman can actually give us a good movie. The movie is directed by Sarah J. Clarkson and is written by Matt Semazar, Burke Sharpless, Claire Parker, and S.J. Clarkson. The movie stars Dakota Johnson, Sidney Sweeney, Adam Scott, Tara Rim, Celeste O'Connor, Isabella Merst, and Emma Roberts. The movie is essentially an origin story of the character Madam Web from the comics, who is essentially in comics as a 70-year-old woman who is basically immortal, and she looks like an old woman, but she's blind, and she can see multiverses and futures and different things, different timelines, much like Doctor Strange. But this time around, she's just a paramedic that saves life, and then she gets injured, and then she gets injured in a course, and then, of course, she has this magic abilities where she can see people die before they happen because when she was a baby... Uh, so much her mother died in the Amazon and then was and then she was pregnant with her so they a spider bit her and then of course she became got these powers of the future and so basically it's kind of like a weird version of Spider-Man origins in a way um, I like parts of this movie like I know this movie's been getting shit on for weeks now or for days because of how bad it is I know people are, oh they should just give the rights to Marvel and all this stuff and I'm like look look there are things I like about this movie, there are things I dislike. Do I think this movie's perfect? No. Do I think this movie's the worst piece of shit I've ever seen? No. I do think this movie could have been better if they would have just... Like, I think the movie's fine, just the way it is. But I could, it could have been better. There are things I do like in the movie. Like, I do like, you know, that at the beginning when she's a paramedic saving lives and everything, and then how she sees her friend die. Spoilers, by the way. And she sees her friend, like, she goes, please don't go. She says, please don't go in the ambulance. And then she, I'll drive you then. And then he's like, I gotta go. And then he, he drives and then he gets in killed. I like that. Or the fact that, you know, when she goes drive, she goes into the water, she basically sees, like, here's future things that are gonna happen. Or, like, there's scenes when, like, the, the villain of the movie, who is played by Tohar Rim, who basically is Ezekiel Sims, who is a character in the comic that Spider-Man fought, this, he basically is a villain who doesn't want to die. And he keeps having dreams that these girls, or these Spider-Women, are going to kill him one day. So basically he finds out because apparently he uses images in his head and is able to draw the image and then do AI to match their faces and figures out who they are. And he's just going to go, I'm just going to go and kill them through movement to save my future. And essentially kind of like Terminator. And so Madam Webb, who can see the future, she sees them dying, him killing these women. And so she rescues them and he's basically on the hunt to pursue them. And only they can see that he's dressed like Spider-Man but wearing a black suit. Not like Venom Spider-Man, just basically like Miles, more like Miles Morales dressed Spider-Man. And he's dressed like that, he's just there to kill them. And he, he'll kill anybody who gets his way. Like, he kills these cops that are there. And there are times, like, in this movie where I think it's really good. Like, there's symptoms, there's a cool sequence that involves the song Britney Spears' Toxic. Where basically she hears the song, he goes into the diner, kills all the women with the, you know, in the diner, kills a couple of people, and then Madame Webb, and every time he kills one of them, like he kills them as, as a verse hits, he breaks one's neck, kills the, then he moves to the next one, kills this one by breaking her neck, and then goes to this one and kills her by breaking her neck. I'm like, this dude really likes to break necks, and so it's like really entertaining, you know, and then she hears the song, talks to so then she's like, oh my god, once I get to start verse, he's going to enter the diner and kill them. And so I think that's what's really cool. That actually had me like, okay, this is actually pretty cool. And then there's like sequences, like, you know, where, like the subway sequence, and there's the diner sequence. And I kind of wish they would have did the whole movie would have been like that. Him just like trying to kill them the whole movie. Instead, it's more like he kills them, then they go away and they're protected with Ben Parker. But there is a cool scene in the cab where he tries to kill them in the cab. That I thought was pretty cool. I do feel like the movie kind of feels like not, like, not rushed in a way, but like, feels like it's evenly paced, but I feel like it could have been longer. Like, I do like that, you know, the, him trying to kill the spider woman. I thought that was pretty cool. I also like the fact that Adam Scott, Adam Scott is great in the movie as Ben Parker. And this is meant to be, like, originally Sony said the plan was, the plan was to pivot to Andrew Garfield and be like, the, he's the Peter Parker yet to be born. But then they realized they, uh, you know, that Tom Holland would be the ideal choice because he's popular. So then they had, and then of course what happened was they messed up the timeline for 2003. So then they're like, eh, just forget it. 
you know, and so they kind of just kind of took a lot of references out and stuff. Although I think it, it, it makes sense that this, I believe that this Adam Scott would marry Marissa Tomei and be Ben Parker in the future. I believe this. So if someone asked me, yeah, I, I believe he's Ben Parker. You know, and I do hope that, you know, they have it would be cool if, like, in Spider-Man, the fourth one, there's a picture of him as Uncle Ben. It'd be cool. You know, and I, I believe that. I mean, this is pretty cool, though. This is a pretty cool Adam, Uncle Ben. You know, and I, I like that he's an EMT, you know, not like a bridge builder or just like an unemployed guy. You know, and I think this is really cool about him being an EMT and everything. And he tries, I like that, that when when, Aunt, uh, when uh, Mary's Parker's water breaks and he tries to get in the car and, like, the girls are trying to help out. I thought that was really cool. That the, It's almost like three teenage girls he's, like, adopted and they're trying to get there. And then, of course, the killer shows up and, you know, and he's trying to kill them. And I do think it, that some of the stuff in 2003 does not make sense. A lot of this, there's a lot of problems in this movie, and I will get to those in a second. But, like, I the things I do like, like the fight in the billboard, I thought was fine. You know, I kind of, I get it, you know, like, it's like the final fight and everything, even though, yeah, he's killed by a Pepsi billboard. And I do like when she goes back to the Amazon and learns her fakes. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was like, okay, I wanted that. I'm like, please let him go. And like, yep, she does. I'm like, cool. And I'm like, you know, there are things I wanted in the movie and it, it happened. Like, I'm like, I hope this happens. And it happened. I'm like, okay, I hope this happens. And it happened. I like that. That, to me, made, got me excited because I wanted that to happen and it got me that. And also, I do like at the end how she, I'm like, she better be going pump blind. I'm like, she better become blind because that is in the comics. She's blind. And then she gets hit by a firework and becomes blind. Even though it's the stupidest way ever to go blind. But like, hey, she went blind. I was happy. And they got their iconic suits at the end. You know, and they had like the, her behind the web and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. And it had a cool open ending credit. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the villain dies. And I thought that was really cool. You know, um, I do kind of wish that there were things like, for instance, the girls got their powers. They never get their powers in this movie. And I thought they would have at the end. And then there's been a fight sequence between the bad guy and the girls and their powers. But instead, they don't get their powers yet. And I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. And also, I kind of wish that, you know, like, for instance, the movie has a lot of product placement, like Pepsi everywhere. In fact, there's even a subplot where the girl's like, look, he goes, I need a beer. And he goes, no, he says, you can't have a beer for 24 hours after being dead. Here's a Pepsi, you know, and she holds it like, even like she's going to be like, product placement, you know, and stuff like that. That kind of irked me. And I'm like, come on, really? You know, and stuff like that. I do like Mike Epps in the movie as well as the paramedic, because even though he's short briefly, I'm like, this is the best role he's ever been in, <laughs> you know? Um, I do think that also, like, for her and the car speeding, when it's on Tossic's plane, they're like, she literally walks right to the diner. So, like, what is, I was like, is this in the south somewhere where the roads are blocked, where she has to go all the way around? It just made no sense to me, like, how, why, why she's, it's taking her forever to get to the diner whenever she should have walked there. Although it made me laugh whenever, like, she crashes into the thing and it's like, well, like a rag doll went up and just hit. I thought that was pretty cool. And also, it never explains when he touches Madame Webb. Like, because the guy, bad guy, says spider webs, he touches you and he kills you with your, his poison. He touches her, but nothing ever happens to her. And I'm like, is that, did they forget about that? And also, like, the the Pepsi and product players so much in the movie. They're drinking either Mountain Dew or Pepsi, and then on top of that, a Pepsi billboard kills the bad guy at the end. I'm thinking, are they setting up, like, the Pepsi mascot for, like, a third, for the next movie or something? Because, like, they literally just seems like, you know, the Pepsi's everywhere in this movie. And, you know, and the ironic thing is there's not even, a, if you buy a Pepsi can, Matt Webb's nowhere to be seen on the can. I'm like, did they just feel like, eh, they're spending the money on this movie? Like, eh, this movie sucks. Nah, never mind. Um, I do think also the fireworks, how it blinded her, I thought it was stupid. I thought like they, oh, we forgot shit, we, we gotta make her blind. Okay, shoot a firework in her face. Because I'm like, in the water, she's in the water and a fire comes and shits her in the face. I mean, but whatever. I mean, at least she's got the blindness now and everything. Um, and also, I thought, you know, that... Oh, the opening is terrible. Yeah, because they do the opening scene where, like, you know, she gets killed, the mom gets killed, and Ezekiel slips, takes, like, the spider and everything. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, like, the people come down, and then they let a spider bite her and everything. And it's just, the back camera is so shaky cam, and it's, like, going in and out, in and out. I'm like, is this an SNL sketch, or is this the movie? I mean, that was that bad. And I'm like, that's so bad. And then on top of that... They redo that whole sequence again, only this time much better, which I'm like, why don't they just start with the movie of her being a paramedic and then go to that scene in the flashbacks? It would make much more sense. And also, when Ezekiel Sims is having that dream about him, the spider women killing him, the, them in the suits are cool, but then, like, it's so out of focus and everything, and it's just going around like this and this and spinning around. I'm like, did Zack Snyder shoot this or something? You know, because it's just going everywhere but where it needs to be, and that's on the screen. And that's no disrespect to Zack Snyder. I'm just saying, some like, you know, there's certain movies where you just go everywhere with it, and I'm like, stay where you're at, guy. You know, but I'm just like, come on, why is it out of focus? Why is it shot over here? Just freaking stay right there, buddy. You know, that's all I'm saying. You know, come on. You know, 
And, you know, I thought that, just thought that was kind of stupid, you know, you know. But, I mean, the movie is fine, and I understand that people are giving this movie crap. And, I look, it's your opinion. If you don't like this movie, that's all you. But if you like the movie, I'm sure there's going to be someone out there that says, hey, it's not a bad movie. I mean, there's people out there like Terminator Genesis or Catwoman. My aunt loves Catwoman from Holly Berry. I'm sure there are people out there going to watch my album and say, I actually liked it, you know. I mean, I think, look, I'm going to buy it on 4K. I mean, I thought it was okay. Like, I I could watch this over Morbius any day, you know. But, like, yeah, this movie's not great, and it's it's okay. Like, I'd watch it again. I mean, it's not terrible. But, yeah, it's a, it's an okay movie. I'm not saying it's the greatest movie ever, but it's not fantastic either. Um, I, uh, I like parts of this movie, but, you know, the rest of it, I just feel like it's kind of missing. It feels like a rough-cut movie of two different movies. One that could have been really good, and the one that was just, like, Poorly tested. They just mashed it up and said, "Best we got." Um, if you want to go watch it, it's in theaters right now. If I had to give this movie a grade, I would give it a C minus. Thank you so much. Hey, you're showing off. Maybe a little.